this one tells you thanks to the white that slime away with new improved mucus. Thanks to its uniquely formulated deep cleaning action, Mucusoft eliminates even the most stubborn fungi and their odors. Remember, global warming's no excuse for an untidy home. Use Mucusoft! Come on down to Plum and Ali's for Super Hot. Just take a look at these bargains. Uzi's for $29.95. Nice shot, Pram. So when you can't take the heat, pack some of your own. Stop by Pram and Ali's Bazooka Hut. Or just dial two. Chatterjee here, Ray. Sorry to interrupt your channel surfing, but I know how much your free agent talk guns love a challenge. And this one's a beaut. The Environmental Security Agency needs you and that speedster of yours to report at once to a Dr. Louis Battaglia at Midtown HQ. Battaglia's big. He heads the zoological reserve up at the old Bronx Zoo. Seems the Corpos and the Feds are taking this podjacking pretty seriously. Better avoid the subway. It's flooded again. High tide. Oh, and one last thing, Ray. Take an umbrella. It's raining again. Use a door next time, would you? I'm Lou Battaglia of Raven, and I hate to wait. So does Jane, the planet's last bush baby. Quick, we got time for a few questions. What do you want to know? Dr. Doolittle, this ain't. We've had a bitch of a time. Last night, Garcia, one of our geneticists, was getting our pods ready for relocation to Kansas City when he met up with a skinhead raiding posse. What's in those pods? Holy Mary, mother... Only the genetic codes for thousands of extinct birds and mammals? It's all that's left of them. If those pods disappear, so do the animals. For good. Those buzz-cut brown shirts whacked Garcia and hijacked the pods. Right now, two-thirds of the planet's wildlife is being fenced somewhere in this city. And you've got to get them back. A regular cook's tour. Your hunt starts in the Bronx. After you've collected all the pods there, you'll drop them with an ESA crew. Brooklyn's next. Recover pods there, then wind up in Manhattan. Let's schlep over to the briefing room. Our intelligence officer will tell you what you need to know. I'll see you afterwards. Nice to see you. Welcome to Online Help. First of all, you can fast forward through any scene by holding down the control and period keys at the same time. So, if you want to get to your mission now, hold down the control and period keys and you'll get started. However, I personally would advise beginners and people needing a review to listen to what I have to say because it's very important. Okay? Let's begin. Now, this is your cockpit. See those red lights on top? They tell you how many lives you have left. Isn't that something? Ha <laughs> ha. Now I'm talking to you from a place called the Video Monitor. Nice, isn't it? 
You'll receive broadcasts from your co-pilot and friendly forces from here. Occasionally, you'll pick up broadcasts from hostile forces. Ignore them. I do. About your co-pilots, you'll be able to select one of six fine young people, like this person here. Huh, <laughs> killer. My, what a snappy dresser. Of course, you'll have a chance to interview them and look over their mental health records before finding one you like. Oh, and before I forget, you'll be able to select your music. Grunge, hip-hop, rave, and heavy metal. Fine stuff. Now directly below the video monitor are the co-pilot task controls. Engaging these buttons gives your co-pilots the following duties. Navigation lets them fly your craft. Hover control gives them control over the craft's hover. Weapons control gives them power over all the weapon systems. Below the co-pilot task controls are the systems buttons. You can activate them anytime during your mission. Click on save to save this mission. Click on help to get information about the cockpit and its controls. To adjust noise levels, click on sound. Click on keys to modify the key setup. To temporarily halt your mission, click on pause. And to abort your mission, click on quit. Directly to the left of the weapons panel are two buttons called hover and fly. Click on either icon to activate. Clicking the fly button allows the craft to move forward. Clicking the hover button permits you to raise or lower the craft's altitude while keeping a stationary position. You can also employ the keyboard to toggle between the two. Centered at the bottom of the screen is your weapons panel. Its firing functions are quite simple. To engage any weapon systems, merely click on its icon. To aim, position your cursor on the active area of the windshield. Click the mouse to fire. What could be more simple? Some of the more advanced weapons are either targeted or smart. Activate these projectiles by clicking your cursor directly upon enemy craft. Ooh, oh, sorry. At the upper right-hand corner of your cockpit, you will notice a radar screen. On it, your enemies appear red. Your friends will be blue. Pods appear green. And enemies with pods will also be green. Below your radar equipment is the directional indicator, or DI. Whenever video communications are initiated with friendly outside agents, this indicator locks onto their coordinates and guides you to them by showing you the correct distance and direction remaining to their position. You'll find the DI quite useful in tracking down weapons helicopters, fuel trucks, and repair bays. Now these gauges here at the bottom right of your cockpit are some very, very important gauges. Your ammo indicator displays your remaining ammunition, but only for your currently selected weapon. When stocks get low, you'll have to switch weapons or wait for the weapons lady to alert you to her position. Next is your fuel gauge. When it goes down, you'll have to wait for the fuel truck to contact you. Now these are your shields. They can drop on you fast. When you've lost the use of most of your equipment, don't worry. A repair bay will notify you as to its nearest location. Now this gauge tells you how many pods are currently left to retrieve. Notice how the pods in the street are highlighted by a green circle. To grab them, simply land on them. A magnet embedded in the bottom of the hovercraft will pick them up. Nice, isn't it? Now this is your spending money. Use the cash to expense weapons, pay for repairs, and refueling. Charges will be electronically transferred to and from your account. Remember to shop carefully. After all, this is New York. Well, that's it. Remember, you'll always be able to get more help during gameplay by activating the help button. You can also get help information, craft, and mission backgrounders at the high score screen. Thank you so much, and goodbye.